So, <laughs> welcome back to the Jeremiah Show. We uh, just came in with Golda Zara. Golda is uh, announced the music here. She is also the soprano, the sweet music of Golda Zara. Our special guest. She's the daughter of Shalom Berkman. He's the co-founder of Earth Cafe with with his wife Gila. Earth Cafe Heirloom Organic Coffee is the best coffee in the world. And it's also healthier for everyone. Welcome back, guys. Thank you. Great to be back. Great to be back. So you're in L.A. Uh, Golda, you're in Italy, if you're just joining us. And we're talking about Earth Cafe. What is your favorite thing to get on the menu? What Do you like Earth Cafe now when you're a little bit older? Oh, I'm upset. <laughs> Best with Earth Cafe. Like whenever I come, and this is not like trying to be like publicity or whatever. I'm really sincerely saying this, and you can ask my parents. Every time I come back from um, Italy and I go to LA, the first thing I want to do is get the guacamole from Earth Cafe and the grilled chicken or like the kale salad. I just turned into that person, just that healthy person from hating yeah. vegetables, loving vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because nobody's asking you for green tea anymore are they they're not they're not hitting you up for a favor no no one's but, mooching me for the green tea bobas anymore <laughs> <laughs> well it all started with the heirloom right stock uh, that we were talking about before the break shalom it's uh there's different types geisha yeah typica, bourbon yellow bourbon um and you were saying before the break, heirloom tr coffee trees have never been genetically modified mm -hmm. from their wild ancestors. What is, because you hear these words a lot these days, it's on everything. What is, but you guys, there's a, something behind it. There's really a lot of hard work that goes into this and you're very proud of it at Earth Cafe. Certified organically grown. Can you explain that to us? And, and more importantly, how it applies to Earth Cafe and your process? Absolutely, absolutely. Certified organically grown means grown 100% without chemicals. And it's really um, a very um, strict process. It's a three-part process, all done by internationally respected agencies. They actually go to the farms and they do soil and leaf tests um, and they go to the shipping and they do tests where, where it's shipped. And then they come to, to our coffee roasting facility and, and, and our kitchen, and they also test it there. And if there's any chemical use uh, at all, it will show for three years. So it'll ruin the chance mm. of getting the organic certificate for, for three years. Wow. So it's, it's pretty, it's good. It's very, very good. Well, it's, it also applies to your organic eggs, uh, to the tea, to the produce. I wanted to list some of the things that you guys do that uh, I think is really, very admirable. Uh, you source farms using a holistic approach to grow the superior coffee while protecting the longevity of the soil, the regenerative farming techniques that we just talked about, which include composting, livestock manure, intercropping, cross-cropping, natural pest control, and collecting rainwater. You guys also invest in dairy cows, goats, and chicken hatcheries. Um, I, I think all this is so great. You talked about shade grown, but just to kind of, uh, that was so interesting to me to hear that you, but that the trees or the, where the coffee's grown, you have larger trees or rainforests that give it shade under a canopy, which produces this better quality coffee because uh, the coffee cherry matures more slowly. Right. And it's sweeter and highly aromatic. Um, your farms also, I like this. You're, you encourage them to plant avocado, fig, citrus, papaya, banana trees. Uh, the fruit in turn attracts birds and bees. And then it gives obviously the necessary shade to cover. Uh, all of this is so great. You know, some of the things that you do, uh, and there's really a lot of stuff that you do. Um, meeting tribes. Oh, yes. T can you tell me about the, um, 
Is it Arahuaca? Arahuaco tribe, um, Pueblo um, Bello? Yes, yes. In fact, it's so interesting. Um, the gentleman that introduced me to that tribe just called me this morning. Uh, oh, really? And to ask how the relationship's going, because um, it's been going good over many years. And we just added a new um, a new group of farmers from the La Huila region of Colombia, which is phenomenal. But, um, you know, meeting the, the leaders of the Arauco tribe was surreal. Um, first of all, we had to drive, I don't know, um, hours and hours on riverbed roads through these tall mountains. Um, it was like Indiana Jones style. Um, and and your life is a little bit like Indiana Jones, <laughs> isn't it? I am very blessed. I'm very blessed. Golda, and, does he have a whip and a hat? <laughs> <laughs> and this, um, later. this is a really cool cooperative um, led by a lady named Aurora. She has put together 700 small farmers throughout the Sierra Nevada mountains. Um, and the ones that I, that I met, they were, um, they were strung out on something. They have, they, they have like, I think it's a, a type um, of drink made from the, the cocoa leaf. And they literally, their eyes were, were totally dilated. It was very strange, but that that's the cultural thing. You know, that's so interesting to experience because we don't see that in Los Angeles. I mean, actually we do see it, but this is more meaningful. <laughs> Some of those people coming in in the morning from coffee haven't been to bed that's yet, I'm right. sure. <laughs> no, this is a lot more meaningful. This has history behind it. Um, and I know, but one of the, the greatest things uh, about Colombia is uh, one of these farmers, after meeting with them and talking to them about all these regenerative farming techniques that they have been doing that is important to us and that we wanted to make sure anyone producing coffee for a cafe would follow this program. And uh, I went out to visit one. The farm was so dense that we had to they have to go to pick the coffee beans with machetes. They go into this jungle with the machetes to, to harvest their coffee beans. And it's filled with monkeys, birds, insects the size of your head. Incredible. You can't tell if it's a bird or if it's an insect. And uh, we got to one, we got to one clearing where we could see across the, the mountain range. As far as the eye could see, the mountains were deforested and uh, it was all coffee. Coffee, uh, conventional grown coffee in Colombia, as far as the eye could see, um, all orchard style, all deforested. And I realized what heroes these people are because the regenerative farming is keeping the soil healthy, keeping the forest healthy. And so that it'll always be like that. And yet they can support their family. They can have a great income more than ever before. Um, so it's such a beautiful thing. And it's so exciting. And we've done that, not just with coffee, but we've done it literally uh, with almost, with almost all, most of our farm relationships, either even here in Southern California with the eggs, and with the with the produce, we're we're going there. And I told you that uh, before the show that um, my family, Golda and and I and my wife and my younger daughter Layla, we all went to Japan to visit our really cool tea farmer Akihiro Nakaisan on um, his amazing organic matcha green tea farm. So beautiful all regenerative practices, certified organic. So what a life, what an incredible life. What a life. Do you look back and say, wow, thank God I found Gila. <laughs> thank oh, yeah. God we created this. Look what we've created. Not only a beautiful family of artists, singers, um, just beautiful people, but you've also created this whole, um, th this whole business that's uh, impacting all of these people that you talk about. And all these people daily, uh, you're feeding them and nourishing them. There's nothing better than that. 
I don't think a life, a very good life you're living, my friend. We do have to take our last break here, but I'm going to go just a little long, maybe two more minutes if we could, because I wanted to ask you the art that's so important to you actually uh, shows itself. You guys have famous artwork on your lattes. You're very, you're famous for this. And I wanted to shine, you, you know, you talked about heroes, the, the producers, the, the farmers that get the coffee to these stores. How about these heroes that work for you? Um, these artists, these hardworking staff that takes care of, they've always taken care of me and I see them take care of everybody that says something. Maybe that goes back to Gila's training, uh, hiring and training processes that she learned many, many years ago. But you guys really have great staff. And then back to the artwork that represents you in another way on your lattes. What can you say about that? And do people have to be an artist to be a grand? There's a extensive training, right? Do they have to become an artist or do you f- f- try to look for people that are artists to well, create this great all, latte artwork? Gila still to this very day interviews for hiring. And she, her number one uh, uh, standard that she looks for is kindness. And she can see kindness in people. So uh, we're working with great groups of people that are all kind, good people. It's amazing. And yes, they have to be artists. Um, we have some extraordinary artists. I mean, the artwork is is mind boggling that they're putting out. There's nothing, nothing like it in the world. It's totally unique. Um, we it takes six months to train the barista how to do the Earth Cafe latte art, um, but some don't show the artistic qualities. And if that's the case, then you know they're going to go do something else, maybe juice bar or register we're going to find their strength in some other part of the team so but we whittle it down where we have these great artistic masters on the bar and my my jaw is dropping you know and you can see a blog on our website uh where you can see uh pictures of some of them and you can read more about the what's involved uh, but every single day, because we do contests inside the company and they submit every single day, it's jaw dropping, beautiful stuff. Wow. Again, you got to go to Earth Cafe and experience all this stuff we're talking about. You will not be dis- disappointed. You're going to spend a lot of time there. You're, it's going to be your new favorite spot. EarthCafe.com. Find a location near you. By the way, Jonathan Platt. Um, Shalom uh, asked me to to put in a request. He wants a location in Carlsbad. Oh, <laughs> I said I promise yeah. I will. Let, I'll put. I'll pass that's it. That's probably on. the number one most requested spot. Honestly, we, yeah. San Diego. That is San Diego. We're coming, Golden. baby. Yeah, we're coming. All right. Well, you've been warned, and you're you're gonna get get prepared and to get wanna, happy. I want to break some news on your show too. Right now, we're currently looking for our first European location in London. Ah, I love that. You but breaking news. Can I put a little breaking news sound in there? <laughs> Thank you for breaking that on. And then Gold is going to go back eventually, and she's going to open that Milan store for you, right? Gold, do you so. think you'll get in the business, or you, you're 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 a big you're big time in music. You're a soprano, but. Uh, <laughs> She'll certainly sing at the grand opening. I guarantee you that. That's a, that's a hundred percent. Singing hundred <laughs> That's breaking news too. We got two breaking stories here. <laughs> Golda will be at singing at the grand opening. Go to earthcafe.com. Also, while you're at it, Golda in concert.com. That's where you're going to get your tickets for the dream orchestra conducted by Daniel Suck, Golda Zara. In concerts, it's Saturday, July 13th at 8 p.m. The Broad Stage, 1310 11th Street, Santa Monica, California. Tickets on Eventbrite or go to goldainconcert.com. Go to uh, Golda in Concert and check out Golda's website as well. It's going to be an enchanting evening of beautiful music and the angelic voice of soprano, Golda Zara, Zara. And you're listening to her music this entire show. It's the soundtrack sent to us by Golda, thank you, all the way from Italy, and uh, recorded all over uh, at a lot of different uh, concerts and, and different venues. 
it's beautiful. Golda, really love it. You, you're so talented. Again, check Golda Zara in concert with the Dream Orchestra conducted by Daniel Suck. It's Saturday, July 13th. Go to Eventbrite or GoldaInConcert.com. And before I let you go, did you know espresso is not only a passion at Earth Cafe, it's an obsession. Earth, such a good obsession to have. Earth only roasts the highest quality heirloom and organic coffee beans. They're carefully sourced to meet their strict standards. In fact, 1%, right? 1% make it um, that meet your standards. Heirloom coffee beans produce the most elegant, luxuriously creamy and smooth espresso with the lowest amount of acid, making Earth Cafe espresso healthier for everyone. We'll be right back. And here's Golda Zara. <laughs> 